Hello, hello. I hope you are doing well. A real man or woman is whatever any man or woman is at those times when he or she is living authentically, in accord with his or her true self and temperament. There is no truer definition of your gender than you. Today, Elaine Aron, the highly sensitive person in love, understanding and managing relationships when the world overwhelms you. Have you ever felt like you were a little bit different? Maybe you feel like an alien sometimes. Everyone else seems to be in a relationship, but what they call love just doesn't appeal to you. Between 15 and 20% of the population has a sensitive nervous system, which represents about one in five people. Highly sensitive people, HSP, react more intensely to experiences than the average person. They process both positive and negative information more deeply, so they can easily become overwhelmed by external stimuli like loud noises, crowds and high-pressure situations. We believe that being a highly sensitive person is a gift. At the same time, it's not always easy. Many of the questions on the highly sensitive person quiz may have even reminded you of times that your sensitivity felt like, like more of a liability than a strength. For example, it's normal to feel misunderstood for your sensitivity, and every HSP must also deal with periods of overstimulation or overwhelm. HSP also experience a stronger impact from the environment around them, whether the environment is healthy and supportive or unhealthy and toxic. So, at different times, being a highly sensitive person can feel like both a blessing and a curse. Are you highly sensitive? To find out, take this 23 question true false highly sensitive person quiz. The more questions you answer true, the more sensitive you are. 1. I'm aware of subtleties in my environment. I notice details other miss. 2. Other people's moods affect me. 3. I tend to be very sensitive to pain. 4. I find myself needing to withdraw during busy days into bed or into a darkened room or any place where I can have some privacy and relief from stimulation. 5. I am particularly sensitive to the effects of caffeine. 6. I am easily overwhelmed by things like bright lights, strong smells, coarse fabrics or silence close by. 7. I have a rich, complex inner life. 8. I'm made uncomfortable by loud noises. 9. I'm deeply moved by the art or music. 10. I'm conscientious. 11. I startle easily. 12. I get rattled when I have a lot to do in a short amount of time. 13. When people are uncomfortable in a physical environment, I tend to know what needs to be done to make it more comfortable, like changing the lighting or the seating. 14. I am annoyed when people try to get me to do many things at once. 15. I try hard to avoid making mistakes or forgetting things. 16. I make a point to avoid violent movies and TV shows. 17. I become unpleasantly aroused when a lot is going on around me. 18. Being very hungry creates a strong reaction in me, disrupting my concentration or mood. 19. Changes in my life shake me up. 20. I notice and enjoy delicate or fine scenes, tastes, sounds, works of art. 21. 
I make it a high priority to arrange my life to avoid upsetting or overwhelming situations. 22. When I must compete or be observed while performing a task, I become so nervous or shaky that I do much worse than I would otherwise. 23. When I was a child, my parents or teachers seemed to see me as sensitive or shy. If you answered more than 14 of the questions as true of yourself, you are probably highly sensitive. But no psychological test is so accurate that an individual should base his or her life on it. Remember, psychologists try to develop good questions that decide on the cut-off based on the average response. If fewer questions are true of you, but extremely true, that might also justify calling you highly sensitive. And you know what? It's okay. Thank you so much, take care and see you next week.